Hi guys, this is AS Chemistry, Organic Chemistry, and we are looking at carbonyl compounds. Question 13. Oxygen containing organic compounds may contain a number of different functional groups, including alcohol, aldehyde, carboxylic acid, ester, or ketone functional groups. These functional groups may be identified by their reactions with specific reagents. On treating compounds containing each of these functional groups with the Reagents below, only five reactions occur. Complete the table by placing a tick in each box where you believe a reaction will occur. You should place no more than five ticks in the table. Okay, so an alcohol will not react with NaHCO3. An alcohol will react with sodium metal. Effervescence will be observed and hydrogen gas will evolve. And an alcohol will be oxidized with acidified dichromate forming an aldehyde which will further oxidize to form a carboxylic acid. An aldehyde will not react with NaHCO3. An aldehyde will not react with sodium metal but an aldehyde will get oxidized to a carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid will react with NaHCO3. Effervescence and a colorless gas would be evolved which would turn lime water milky. And a carboxylic acid will react with sodium metal producing hydrogen gas and a carboxylic acid will not undergo any oxidation. An ester group will not react with sodium hydrogen carbonate, it will not react with sodium metal and an ester does not get oxidized. A ketone also does not react with NaHCO3, a ketone does not react with sodium metal and a ketone is not oxidized. So the five ticks that are needed have already been placed in the table. Compound G has the empirical formula CH2O and an MR of 90. An aqueous solution of G is neutral. So it is not a carboxylic acid. There is no reaction when G is treated with NaCO3. So again, not a carboxylic acid. When 0 0.3 grams of pure G is reacted with an excess of sodium, 80 cm cube of hydrogen gas measured at room temperature pressure is produced. What functional group do these two reactions show to be present in G? So it is not a carboxylic acid, but it is producing uh, hydrogen gas. So it has to be an alcohol group. Use the data to calculate the amount in moles of hydrogen atoms produced from 0 0.3 grams of G. So the amount of hydrogen that is produced is 80 cm cube. So number of moles of hydrogen molecules would be 80 upon 24,000, which would give us a value of 3.3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles of hydrogen molecules being produced during this reaction and one molecule of hydrogen is made up of two atoms of hydrogen so in order to calculate the number of moles of hydrogen atoms we multiply the moles of hydrogen molecules by two so two into 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of minus three gives us a value of 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power of minus three moles of hydrogen atom Hence, show that each molecule of G contains two of the functional groups you have given in one. So, the mass of G that we have is 0 0.3 grams and its MR is 90. So, 0 0.3 upon 90 is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 moles. Next, we have the ratio of G is to hydrogen atoms as 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 is to 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So when we divide both of these by the smaller value, which is 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power of minus 3, we end up with a molar ratio of 1 is to 2. So for every molecule of G, there are two hydrogen atoms that are present in the OH group, which means there are two OH groups 
present in each molecule of compound G. Treatment of G with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine reagent produces an orange solid. When G is warmed with Fellings reagent, no reaction occurs. What functional group do these reactions show to be present in G? Draw the displayed formula of this functional group. So this is a ketone. It's a carbonyl group, but since it is not reacting with Fellings reagent, it is not an aldehyde. So a carbonyl group that is not an aldehyde is a ketone. And the structure of ketone would be a C double bond O group attached to two R groups, whether they are same or different. So this is a ketone. Use your answer to B1 and C1 to deduce the structural formula of G. So the information that we have is the MR of this compound is 90. Its formula is CH2O. And we've got two OH groups present in it. And we've got a C double bond O group present in it as well. So in total, we've got three oxygen atoms. So that means we've got three carbon atoms as well and two OH groups. So it would be CH2, C double bond O, CH2, and both the CH2 groups will be attached to OH groups. And this is because we've got two alcohol groups along with the ketone group. So the structure can be confirmed by calculating the MR of this compound. So 1 plus 16 plus 12 plus 2 plus 12 plus 16 plus 12 plus 2 plus 16 and plus 1. So this all adds up to a mass value of 90, making this compound the correct molecular formula or rather the correct displayed formula or the correct structural formula of the compound G. Compound G can be both oxidized and reduced. When G is heated under reflux with acidified K2Cr2O7, compound H is formed. Give the structural formula of compound H. So when it is oxidized, the alcohol groups will be oxidized to aldehyde, which will further be oxidized to carboxylic acid. So we have a COOH group on the left. Then we have got a ketone group in the center and a COOH group on the right as well. So this is a product when compound G is oxidized in the presence of acidified K2Cr2O7. When G is reacted with NaBH4 under suitable conditions, compound J is formed. Give the structural formula of compound J. So compound J is formed on reduction of compound G. So the group in compound G that can undergo reduction is the ketone group. And when the ketone group undergoes reduction, it is converted into a secondary alcohol. So we start off with a CH2OH group on the left. The ketone group in the center turns into CHOH group, which is a secondary alcohol, and the CH2OH group on the right stays as it is. So this is the structure of compound J, which is formed on reduction of compound G in the presence of NaBH4. Question 14. Many organic compounds, including alcohols, carbonyl compounds, carboxylic acids, and esters contain oxygen. The table below lists some oxygen-containing organic compounds and some common lab reagents. Complete the table as fully as you can. If you think no reaction occurs, write no reaction in the box for the structural formula. So in reaction A, the organic compound is a tertiary alcohol. So a tertiary alcohol, when it is subjected to acidified Cr2O7 to negative ions and heated under reflux, do not undergo oxidation. 
so the structure formula of the organic product would not exist so we write no reaction next we have ch3 ch2 cho which is an aldehyde when an aldehyde reacts with felling reagent and warm we end up with the aldehyde oxidizing to form a carboxylic acid so we have ch3 ch2 and c double o h forming in reaction c we've got an ester group which is warmed with NaOH. So an ester undergoes hydrolysis when warmed with NaOH. So the products would be R C double O minus or rather H C double O minus Na plus and the other product would be OH attached to CH which is attached to two CH3 groups. So we have the presence of a sodium salt of methanoic acid and we have an alcohol present due to the hydrolysis of the ester bond in the presence of warm NaOH. Next we have a reaction in which we've got an aldehyde group and an alkene group and we are subjecting it to reduction in the presence of NaBH4. So nothing would happen to the alkene group but the aldehyde group would be reduced to a primary alcohol so the product here would be ch2 double bonded to ch which is single bonded to ch2 oh this is the primary alcohol that forms when cho group is reduced next we have a tertiary alcohol because the carbon to which the oh group is attached to has three ch3 groups present on it so a tertiary alcohol undergoing reduction so alcohols do not undergo reduction anyway they are oxidized not reduced so this would give us no reaction and next we've got a ketone which is being heated with mno4 minus ions and under reflux so ketones are not oxidized so here also we will end up with no reaction taking place during some of the reactions in one a color change occurs complete the table below for any such reaction stating the letter of the reaction and what the color change is so in a we don't have a reaction taking place so there would be no color change in b we have phalanx reagent and in phalanx reagent uh, in the beginning the color of the reagent itself would be blue and since the reaction is taking place we end up with a brick red precipitate forming so this is one of the reactions in which there is a color change in c we warm with NaOH, so there is no color change for hydrolysis in d there is no color change for reduction and e and f do not take place so what we are left with is reaction b in which the color at the beginning of the reaction is blue and the color at the end of the reaction is brick red so a blue solution has a brick red precipitate forming in it when the reaction occurs some oxygen containing compounds react with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine whose structure is given here. Draw the structural formula of the organic compound formed when uh, OH, CH2, CH2, CHO reacts with 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So we end up with a condensation reaction taking place in which we would have HO, CH2, CH2, then we would have C bonded to H forming a double bond with the nitrogen atom to which two hydrogen were attached like the NH2 group of 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and we have it attached to NH which is bonded to the benzene ring on which we've got two nitro groups present. So this is the structure of the product form when the given aldehyde reacts with the compound 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and we need to suggest the color of the organic product 
the product that would form would be a yellow orange precipitate question 15 many organic compounds including alcohols carbonyl compounds carboxylic acids and esters contain oxygen the table below lists some oxygen containing organic compounds and some common lab reagents complete the table as fully as you can if you think no reaction occurs write no reaction in the box for the structural formula so reaction a reaction a we have a compound which is a secondary alcohol undergoing reduction in the presence of NaBH4. So alcohols do not undergo reduction. So this reaction will not occur. So there is no organic product. So we write no reaction. Next we have CH3, COCH3 which is a ketone. And when ketones are warmed with Tollens reagent, we will have no reaction occurring because Tollens reagent is used to test for the presence of aldehydes and not ketones. Next, we have an ester reacting with KOH and it is warm, which means hydrolysis will occur. We will end up with CH3COO minus K plus and we would also have an alcohol which would be the OH group attached to a CH group which is attached to two CH3 groups. So an alcohol and a potassium salt of the carboxylic acid would be reduced. Next we have a tertiary alcohol which is undergoing an oxidation reaction because it is heated with acidified K2CO2O7 under reflux. And tertiary alcohols are not oxidized, so we do not end up with a reaction here. So no reaction. Next, we have a ketone reacting with NaBH4, which is a reducing agent. So a reducing agent would reduce a ketone into a secondary alcohol. So the product would be CH3, CH, OH, and then we have another CH3 group. This is a secondary alcohol that would form. Next, we have a tertiary alcohol reacting with PCL5. So the reaction of alcohol with PCL5 results in nucleophilic substitution taking place. The OH group will be replaced by a chlorine atom. So we have CH3 thrice and COH group being replaced by the Cl atom. Next, we have a primary alcohol and an alkene group present in our compound. So here, this compound is undergoing oxidation because it is being heated under reflux with acidified MnO4 minus ions. So, heated and reflux with acid MnO4 minus would result in the alcohol oxidizing to a carboxylic acid and since we are heating it with acidified KmnO4, the double bond will also break. So, we end up with the formation of two different compounds. So, when this double bond breaks, we end up with one of the compounds being CH3COOH which is ethanoic acid and the other compound would be C double O H uh, bonded to C double O H, which would mean that this is ethane 1 2 diuric acid. So this will undergo further oxidation to produce CO2 and H2O, which means that this is not the organic product of this reaction. And the only organic product of this reaction that would be present would be ethanoic acid. During some of the reactions in one, a color change occurs. Complete the table below for any such reactions stating the letter of the reaction 
and what the color change is. So we have A, B, and D reactions not taking place. So we're left with C, E, F, and G to check. So in C, we've got an alkaline hydrolysis of an ester. So there is no color change in that reaction. In E, we've got reduction of a ketone. So no color change. In F, we've got a nucleophilic substitution of an alcohol group with a chlorine atom forming halogenoalkane. So there is no color change here. And in G, we've got uh, oxidation of alkene and alcohol in which we use a purple KMnO4 reagent. So the color change that we would observe would be in G where the color of at the beginning of the reaction would be purple. And when oxidation occurs, the color at the end of the reaction would be colorless. So the color change observed would be purple to colorless when the alkene and the alcohol are oxidized when heated under reflux with acidified KMnO4. Question 16. Croton aldehyde occurs in soya bean oil. In the boxes below, write the structural formula of the organic compound formed when croton aldehyde is reacted separately with each reagent under suitable conditions. If you think no reactions occur, write no reactions in the box. So A is bromine in an inert organic solvent. So when bromine reacts with croton aldehyde, the double bond of the alkene would break and both the carbon atoms that were forming the double bond would have a bromine atom added onto it. So the product of this reaction would be CH3, CH, Br, CH, Br, and CHO. So this is the product when bromine in an inert organic solvent reacts with croton aldehyde. Next, we have reaction with PCL3. PCL3 reacts with the OH group. And since croton aldehyde does not have any OH group, there would be no reaction. Next, we've got hydrogen and a nickel catalyst. So hydrogen and a nickel catalyst is able to reduce croton aldehyde. It would convert the alkene into alkane. So it would get rid of the double bond. And it would also reduce the aldehyde group into a primary alcohol group. So the product would be CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH2OH. Both the functional groups present would be reduced. Next, we've got a reducing agent, which is NABH4. And NABH4 will be able to reduce the aldehyde group into the primary alcohol group, but the alkene group would stay as it is. So the product of this reaction would be CH3, CH, double bond CH, and then we have got CH2OH. So this would be the product upon reaction of proton aldehyde with a mild reducing agent, NABH4. Next, we have the reaction with acidified K2Cr2O7, which is an oxidizing agent, a mild oxidizing agent. This will have no effect on the double bond, but will oxidize the aldehyde group into the carboxylic acid group. So the product of this reaction would be CH3 bonded to CH, double bonded to another CH, which would be single bonded to a C double OH group. So the aldehyde group is converted into the carboxylic acid. Question 17. Protyl alcohol is obtained from proton aldehyde. Describe one test that would confirm the presence of a small amount of unreacted proton aldehyde in the protyl alcohol. Give the name of the reagent used and state what you would see. So we need to check for the presence of a small amount of unreacted proton aldehyde. So, crotyl alcohol is obtained from croton aldehyde and the structure of croton aldehyde is given. So, crotyl alcohol has the CHO group reduced to the CH2OH group. So, if there is any aldehyde remaining, so we would check for the aldehyde group 
using the reagent failing solution or failing reagent so what would be observed is blue solution will have formation of a brick red precipitate we can also simply check for the presence of the carbonyl group by adding 2 for dnph which will give us an orange or a yellow orange precipitate so that would also confirm the presence of a carbonyl group and since we know it is an aldehyde so that carbonyl group would be the aldehyde group what type of a reaction is the conversion of proton aldehyde into protyl alcohol so conversion of an aldehyde into an alcohol group is known as reduction Question 18. Compound Q heptane to own is found in some blue cheeses and the compound is given. In the boxes below, write the structural formula of the organic compound formed when Q is reacted separately with each reagent under suitable conditions. If you think no reaction occurs, write no reactions in the box below. So the first reaction is with Tolens reagent. So, Tolens reagent is a test for the presence of the aldehyde group. Heptane 2 ON is a ketone. It does not have presence of any aldehyde group. So, Tolens reagent will not react with compound Q. So, there would be no reaction. Next, we have reacting with HCN. So, when HCN is reacted with the ketone, Nucleophilic addition would occur and a cyanohydrin or a hydroxynitrile would form. It is the two different names for the same product. So we would have the CH3 group bonded to CH2 groups which are repeated four times. The C double bond O group which is a ketone group will be converted into C having an OH group and a C triple bond N group attached to it which would also be attached to a CHC group on its fourth position of bonding. So this is the product formed when compound Q reacts with HCN. Next, we have compound Q reacting with acidified potassium dichromate and a ketone does not undergo oxidation. So we would not have any reaction taking place when it compound Q is heated with acidified K2Cr2O7. So no reaction.